This is Micah Myerskoff. Hi, Micah Myerskoff. How are you? Hi, Tim. Glad uh, to be here today. We are talking about Minecraft EDU, the education version. So, just basically, what is Minecraft? So, Minecraft is the best selling video game in the world. Uh, about 110 million users a month. Average age of a Minecraft user might surprise you. It's 24. Wow. So it's actually a little bit older than you'd expect. No, kidding. I thought it was all like 10 year olds. So, That's right. Yeah. So your six year olds have probably played it. Your 16 year olds have probably <laughs> played it. And that's really the appeal of Minecraft. It's taking something that the students already love, repackaging it in an education edition. So adding features for the teachers and to protect the students and adding uh, curriculum and education elements. So let's talk a little bit about that. What? So Minecraft is a world, it's like this blank canvas world that people can build things, right? It's That's not right. It's not necessarily a, a game where people go fight or race or, you know, That's right. they build. That's right. So the goal of Minecraft is very creative. You uh, are in a world and there's two types. It could either be a flat world where it's completely creative, you get all the blocks, you can do whatever you want, or it can be more of a survival world where you're exploring and you're adventuring. Um, and you can do either one of those in the education edition. Okay. But we've also built curriculum on top of that base world. So let's talk a little bit about the education versus the regular edition. So the education edition, which actually comes uh, in the El Paso Independent School District, we have that. It's part of our, our deal, you know. There. Yeah, we're very excited about Yay, that. Yay, we're happy about that. So what comes in an education edition? You talked a little bit about some add-ons. that yes, come. So that's like, right. Like what? So the first thing that we've done is we've taken the base game and then we packaged education features. So classroom management features, curriculum, and a different way of doing multiplayer so that it's limited to just students in your district. So you're not going to see someone in El from El Paso playing with someone on the Xbox or someone on the PC. Or like that 26-year-old coming into my 7th right. grade class. That's right. Right? That's right. Or that 26-year-old. And so we've, ch we've taken the game and changed it so that it is appropriate and applicable for a classroom setting. Okay. So what are, what am I looking at if I'm a teacher that I've never seen Minecraft before? What do I what do I see here? What okay, am I So what we've got here is the screen. So the first thing you'll have to do is you'll have to sign in. Right. You'll use your Microsoft credentials. Your so Office the same 365 ones, credentials, yep, right? The same ones you're using to sign into Office or your PC. Um, and then once you've signed in, you'll see this screen. So the first thing that I would suggest that you do, so I click the play button. Right. The first thing that I would suggest you do if you've never played Minecraft before is to try some of the tutorials. So you can go to here to create new and click on templates. And then right here we have a tutorial. So this is um, one to two hours but it'll teach you the basics of Minecraft. So it'll teach you how to move, how to place a block, how to destroy a block. It'll tell you about the different modes. Right. So um, can you fly or not fly? So it'll <laughs> teach you how to use Minecraft as a tool for the classroom, and it'll help answer some of your uh, questions. The other thing I would say is all of your students are probably experts. So if you have questions about Minecraft, they can also usually help answer. That's scary right there. So what now? Let me let me ask you this. So many of our teachers say, "Oh, Minecraft. My kids are just playing Minecraft all day. They're like not paying attention." So can we can we control that? What do we do? Absolutely. So what we can do there is we actually have curriculum. So when you're bringing Minecraft into the classroom, you're not going to just be letting them go at it in a world. Right. We've developed 600 pieces of curriculum. Um, and more being added daily. With more added, yes. Many of them already have lesson plans, teacher guides, assessments, um, rubrics. And so what So what I've done is I've gone to our website. So this is education.minecraft.net. Uh-huh. And, and you do have to sign in as you a... You do not. You do not. Yes, you can just go to the website. You don't have to sign in. Okay. And then... I went to the classroom resources. Another way to get trained is this top one. And so this is a little bit of a longer training, more like 10 hours, but it'll take you more in depth. But what I was gonna show you is right here, find a lesson. Okay. So when I click on that, I can actually see by subject, like I said, 600 lessons, adding more, and these include all subjects. They can be filtered by grade area or grade as well. Um, and so you can go in here and you can take a look. Okay. Find your subject, find your grade. 
Um, and then uh, later this month, we'll have um, Texas standards added in as well, so you can search by specific standards. Because Texas standards are better than anybody else's standards. That's right. That's what I've heard. <laughs> Somebody once told me that our standards are so good, our right angles go to 91 degrees. Oh, that's, a, nice. that's how good they are. <laughs> so uh, give, me, give me an example, like a math one, for instance. Okay. What, would a, what would a math teacher see? So here's some standards aligned curriculum. Right. This is Common Core aligned. So Grade three. Let's, let's just take a look at. Triangles are triangles. Doesn't matter where you're at. Yeah. And so here's an example. So you've got an introduction. You've got all the different standards that apply. Right. And then each of these is a lesson. So I can come in and say, capture. Look the at flag. the capture the flag lesson or the shapes lesson. Let's let's look at the shapes lesson. Okay. So here's the standard, here's what they're learning, and then here's the, the content. Okay. So this is for eight to 10 year olds. It's computer science. So it is gonna use computer science concepts in addition to math concepts. Here's the lesson plan. So there you go, you see that same standards alignment, ideas. Here's the student activities, the expectations in the assessment component. And then over here on the right, this is where you would actually download the world, download the other resources. Uh, you can print the lesson. Uh, you can share it with others in the district. Um, so this is actually going to be the world. This is what you're going to use in Minecraft. And then this is going to be the teacher resources. So okay. these would be all of your, like, basically a PDF copy. Once of what you you're download the assets, thing. that gets you all the stuff you need, all the worlds, all the everything to, to do the lesson. That's right. Yeah. So these links over here on the right are going to be everything you need to do that lesson. Okay. So um, what kind of... so. Now, I'm, I'm old school, so a few years back, uh, uh, some, we used to, uh, the big deal was Second Life. That's what, do you remember Second Life? Oh my God. And so they said, everybody should be in Second Life. And it turned out to be a disaster. You know, it was like, not not good. It wasn't monitored. You know, bad people showed up into it with kids. That's not an issue with, with Minecraft, right? That's right. So the thing that I was alluding to earlier, the multiplayer, it is limited to just your school district. So you can absolutely have students collaborate and work together in a classroom setting, but you won't ever see that, like you said, that 26 year old or somebody from a district coming into a student's world and uh, talking to them or destroying it or anything like that. Okay, so Micah, if they're interested in Minecraft EDU, where do they go? So the way to get started is the website, education.minecraft.net. Let's zoom in on that one. Hold on. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, education.minecraft.net. Okay. And then the other piece is the actual Minecraft Education Edition product. And I would, rec I would suggest the tutorial that I was showing earlier as the first place to start. Okay. And it's an awesome tool, right? Yes. It's And you love it. I do. I can tell because you're wearing a Minecraft t-shirt. That's right. So that's good. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to see you in El Paso, I bet, in the future. That's so right. there. So say hi to all your homies in El Paso. Bye. Okay. Thanks for talking to us, Mike. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you.